about the scrimmage yesterday? Oh, we started out all right. Had a couple nice, uh, you know, got some third down stops. Held them out of the end zone, deep in the red zone, and then uh, we were just not able to sustain. So obviously, fatigue makes cowards of us all. How much of that though had to do with you maybe rotating some guys up front in the defensive front? Uh, what part? About not even be able to sustain a little bit. Oh, we're rotating because we got a lot of depth and you got to get guys reps. But uh, you know, last I checked, the opponent doesn't really care who's in there, whether it's your starter or backup, right? They're trying to they're trying to maul you into the ground and score points on you. So we don't care who's in there either. You got to get a stop. You've had this group of safeties now since the spring. Uh, just your thoughts on them overall and the progress they've made. Oh, I'm doing some good things. Doing some things I'm not happy with. Uh, so obviously we get challenged every day by maybe the most difficult passing attack to defend. So uh, it's good. It'll frustrate you, but obviously you know that they're working you and uh, stressing you in all the ways that teams are going to stress you throughout the season. So. A lot of those lines, obviously Corey Ellington got his feet wet some last year and, and had to play more due to injuries late in the year. How much did you think that helped him, that experience? I think anytime, anytime you're young in your career and you can get on the field, and I think it's, you know the the four game and still retain your red shirt rule. I think that was a genius move uh, by the NCAA for guys to be able to get that experience, get on the field, and not cost them a year, year of eligibility. Uh, so you know Corey, the way he's physically matured since he's got here and uh, gets that experience, there's, there's uh, no reason to not see him continue to, continue to flourish. As you kind of you know start the your, your third camp here with with the this defensive unit, I guess, how much does that experience, how much easier has it made it for you, you think, you know, starting out maybe as opposed to last year or in 2020? Yeah, well, I mean, with the older guys, we're able to call more stuff right off the bat, you know. Uh, sometimes I might forget to install it, but still call it out on the field, and they have a, a general understanding, so <laughs> that's been fun. I mean, our execution of it's where we want it, but... What about your newcomers from the portal? How, how do you feel like they're acclimating and kind of getting up to speed? It's been good. I mean, Jackie's doing doing some really nice things uh, at safety. Speedy Banks out there at corner uh, is definitely flashing and, and right in the mix, compete for that starting spot. I tell you, the Hunter Washington kid the last few days has really come on and, and flashed. I, I really like his you know his bite. Uh, who else am I forgetting? Is there, uh, Morant is doing really good, some really good things as well. Um, you know, he got here the latest of all, so. Uh, he had the least amount of time learning the defense, but between what he's showing on special teams and, and the reps he's getting, uh, we feel like we've, you know, we improved the roster to the quarter. How do you balance uh, needing to develop more depth on this with the fact that now you're close to halfway through camp, you start trimming it down to the guys who are going to play most of the snaps? Oh, I, it's just the it's just the reality of it, right? You got to, all right, guys, we, we've had your two weeks kind of roughly to to show if you're good enough to help us and. Unfortunately, those of you who are not, your reps are going to start getting cut, and you start, you know, helping out the team in another way, giving the giving the best picture you can of the opponent. I think every guy understands that. I mean, that's that's just the reality of it at this level, and it only gets more brutal the higher you go. <laughs> you see the defense winning these practice periods. How much stock do you put in that, if any? I don't put a lot of stock in stock in any of that. Uh, where have you seen kind of DeCarlo's development in the time that he's been here and what's kind of, you know, the next steps you'd like to see from him, you know, kind of winding up camp? Well, obviously doing a nice job of coming out with the right mentality every day. You know, he's he's still learning how to be a DB, how to be a corner, All right? So um, he's obviously getting to, he's getting great tutelage from Coach McBath, sit there and, and work behind Forbes and, and see it done. So he's right where we want him to be. So you see his frame and watch him run. You know he's got all the ability in the world. It's just got to get experience.